Everybody love him like that. Oh, my, 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 my. I can't find words to tell you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Anybody glad about it? Come on, somebody. of the Lord hmm. and I know what time it is hmm. because time stood still <laughs> bodies are healed families restored hallelujah because we stay here, come on, in your presence, Lord. No one had to say a word. No one had to say a word. <laughs> Couldn't even make a sound. Couldn't even make a sound. Yeah. Cause I'd give you everything. For this treasure found, for this treasure found. Never wanted to win. So I say, stay. Come on. Yeah. I don't want you to go. Yeah. Cause my heart is burning. Come on, in your presence, Lord. Oh, hey. so I say, stay. Oh. Yeah, I stay. I don't want you to go. Never leave me alone. Hey. So my heart is burning. In your presence, Lord. In your presence, Lord. I'm gonna say, please stay. Please stay. Whoa. That's my invited guest. I don't want you to go. Hey. Because my heart is burning in your presence. In your presence, Lord. Now, come on, somebody give those hands in the air and say, So I want more. Ah! 
Jesus, I want more. Come on, one more time. I want more. I want more. Oh, I want more. Hey. I want more. Hey. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, I want more. Where else would I go? <laughs> Where else would I go? Cause my heart is burning. Cause my heart is burning. Cause my heart is burning. <laughs> Come on, say, my heart is, my heart is burning. Everybody, as a dear party for the water, you say, my heart is burning. Those hands one more time and say, I want more. I want more. Oh, I need Lord. And I want more. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, I want more. I want more. I want more. Hey! Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. 
we give you all. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Come on, everybody in the room. Hallelujah. Talk to God right now. Let we give a breeze, God. Let this be a time of prayer. Oh, Shataramasa. And reflection. Come on, everybody in the room. Use this time to get deep in God. Hallelujah. Take Everybody, everybody, pour out your heart before the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We honor your Father. You are more than enough. You said to Paul, your grace is sufficient yes God the affliction were many upon Paul but you said to him my strength is made perfect in your weakness ah Jesus glory to God come on come on somebody thank you Lord Yebosha Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just worship him. Come on. Don't just stand there. Talk to God. Believers need to know to pray. We be Kandaramasa. Yes. Yeah. Hakarama Moshi Basitu. Hallelujah. Kitoro Shima. Ina Kamasa. Iho Shima Hana. Uvarabas Ikurobo Shende. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Break every chain. Woo Break every chain, Lord. Cut down everything I say. That exalt itself against your knowledge. Bring it into captivity now. Yes. 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 Shift the atmosphere in the room. Hallelujah. Take over God. I know you. <laughs> I call on you. Rababo. Shababa to To intervene, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. This very minute, my God. <laughs> this very minute. <laughs> In the midst of the storm, <laughs> in the midst of the rain, <laughs> in the midst of the trial, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Break everything! Break everything! Give 
was the big chiller again and again. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh God, oh God, oh God. Whatever I need to break, break it. Whatever I need to block it up, block it up, Lord. Whatever I need to plant, plant. But let your kingdom come. <laughs> let your will be done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Crush, crush the enemy. Crush them. <laughs> Every nice some pestilence. Every creature that grew up in darkness. My God, every unclean spirit. Every spell and hex. Demonic strongholds. Break. Break, God. Break. Hallelujah. Remove it from us. <laughs> Remove it from us. Remove it from our ground. Remove it from our land. Remove it from our family. Remove it from our whole soul. <laughs> Search with your eyes. It will shimmer. Let your light shine on us, shine through us, smite every work of darkness. Let your kingdom come and manifest in us in the name of Jesus. What you plan to do, what you purpose to do from the beginning. Oh God Almighty, let it be so in us. <laughs> Transform, transform. Halabo Sharabase too. Transform us, Lord. <laughs> transform us, Jesus. Holy Spirit, transform us. Inside out. Remove all the rubble. <laughs> Remove <laughs> all the smoke screen of the enemy. Clarity of vision, clarity of mind, clarity of heart. Yes! Hallelujah! Overthrow the plans of the enemy now. Shipwreck the plans of the enemy. Cause what he meant for evil to turn around for good. For us right now, God. <laughs> Turn the table on the enemy. Turn the table on the enemy. Give him this portion. Maho Shamasi. And restore. Revive. Renew. Refresh. Restore your people. Double for their trouble. A hundredfold. In the name of Jesus, rain, Jesus, rain, rain, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Take the matter. Take the case in hand. He cast all our cares upon you. He cast them upon you, God. You are the great high God. The great almighty God. Reveal your power and let 
every power be subjected to the high power. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shela Baba Basetu. He Karama Moshe Dalamasaya. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yes, God. Let the wheels be turning now. Turn. Amoshamasetu. Mobilize your people. Elevate your people. Ah. Ride out this storm. To get out of this rut. Ha ah. ha. That they move to a higher level. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ha ah. ha. In your mighty name, my king. In your name, my king. Ahabo Shabase. Hikero Shabase. In your name. In your name. <laughs> Part the sea, Lord. Hold by the water, Shabo Shabase. I guide your people through in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. <laughs> By the breath of your nostril, part the sea. He shall grant your people safe passage. Grant your people safe passage. Into the promised land. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Yes, God. Yes, God. It's all up to you. It cast to be clear upon you. Now refresh us. Restore us. Revive us. Heal. Every brokenness. Every broken vessel. Broken heart. Broken spirit, broken bodies, broken ears in our flesh, be healed. Be healed. Haibo <laughs> Shamasa. Yes, God, healing, healing. It's flowing, it's flowing, it's flowing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, my Father. Come on, come on, church. Come on. <laughs> we going in, we going in, we going in. He will shut up. We press it in the deep. Robo shaman nebo shanabase. Ila she kama mama sho ho ho shende. Dilema ke ko ho shema. He. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
Heal, Lord, heal. Every vessel, heal. Our bodies are your temple, oh Holy Spirit. Administer healing now. Through and through. Saturate us in your anointing. Saturate us in your presence, Lord. In your glory, Jesus. Ha ha. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ha, ha. Waves of anointing. Waves of glory. Waves of your presence flow through, flow through. Saturate your people now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you. <sighs> thank you. Rivers of living waters. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Like a mighty waterfall. <sighs> Wash and renew. Revive with new life. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, my King. Woo! Yes, my Lord. Yes, my Savior. Ha ha ha. Your wordy, wordy, word. Your wordy, wordy, word. Your wordy, Lord. Ha ha ha. Yes, God. Ha ha ha. Oh. Yes, Lord. Shower down your blessings. Shower down your peace. Shower down your mercy. Shower down your grace on us. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. yes Father. The Karababo Shikirabasaya. Hero Koho Shede. Nana Mama Koho Shede Lamas. Hero Shema. The Koho Shamasito. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Deepest places in our spirit, oh God. Deepest region in our spirit, heal. And restore and revive. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shura Babasitu. Kiroshima restoration of our God's people in the name of Jesus 
hundred fold return in this life and in the age to come thank you Lord 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 glory to your name Father blessing and honor and glory blessing and honor and glory and power and dominion ha 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 hallelujah be unto you God thank you Lord no weapon form against us will prosper and every tongue that rise up against us in judgment we condemn this is the heritage of your servants and my righteousness is of you Ramanamasetu Ikiroshi Masaya Yes Lord Heal your people Lord Heal every broken ear in their life Make them whole again Yeah. Put the broken pieces together and heal them, Lord. Angelic host around every home we presented here, around every house, all our property, all our children. Oh, hallelujah! Intercept the plan of the enemy now. Let no evil come nigh your dwelling. Let your banner be over us. Your banner over us is love, Lord. Let it fly high. For all the world to see. Heal King Jesus. Yes, Lord. We are your people and the sheep of your pastures. We enter your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Come on, somebody thank him right now. Rivers of blessing flowing all over you. Oh, uncommon favor flowing on you. Fresh anointing upon you. Shh. In the name of Jesus. Strength. <laughs> For the weary. <laughs> Rise up those who are oppressed be lifted up in the presence of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord. You shall be saved. Come on. He's the Savior. Salvation is from the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Woo! Glory to God. Oh, come on, somebody give him the praise in here. <laughs> Woo! Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Hakaroshi Masit. Hallelujah. Rabababoshanda. Mm. My God, my God. I tell you, God has just refreshed your spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said, it's the spirit that gives life. It's not the flesh. The flesh profits nothing. But the spirit gives life. Hallelujah. Rejoice in the Lord. And again I say, rejoice. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 <laughs> oh, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Savior. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For keeping us. For holding us together. Ah, in spite of the storm. For keeping us safe from harm. Ah, hallelujah. Thank you, my God. Thank you, my King. Oh, bless your name. Oh, bless you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Can you feel the shift in the atmosphere? Oh, oh, oh she must it. Mm. That's just God. Woo. He's here. He's in the midst of his people. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, my King. Thank you for everything. Glory, glory, glory. <laughs> Thank you, God. In this, for this I give you praise. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm hmm. Hi, hi, hi. Come on, somebody. Bless the Lord in the house. <laughs> you got a praise for him? Yes, Lord. Ha! Hallelujah. Yes, God. He makes all things new. Come on. He makes all things new. 
Ah, God. Hallelujah. And the worst is past. And the best is yet to come. Hallelujah. I said the worst is past. Oh, somebody get it in your spirit. Worst is past. And the best is yet. Oh God. Anybody believe and receive it. Give God the praise in here like you know it. In Jesus' name. Woo. My God. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands, all you people. Celebrate the King of Kings. Oh, hallelujah. And shout to God in a voice of triumph. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Praise your name. He bless you. You may be seated. It's time to release you. I believe God is preparing us. God is what? Preparing us. And I was sitting down, preparing to come down this evening. And the Lord just whispered that in my spirit. Hallelujah. Hundredfold return. What? Ah, God Almighty. Hundredfold return. Hallelujah for all that you have lost and suffered. God have a compensation plan. Ha, ha, ha. Hallelujah. You're not coming out the loser. Oh, you're coming out more than conquerors. Hallelujah. And that's what God declares over you. And you must believe and receive it. For those who doubt it will not see it. Hallelujah. Because God cannot lie. Come on now. Hallelujah. So you got to be firm in your faith. Got to be what? Yes, man. That means your faith must not waver. Word of God says that Abraham did not waver in his faith. But he was strong in faith. Hallelujah. And Paul said, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God. That you'll be able to stand against what? Oh, the devil coming with it. But we are more than able. Hallelujah. To take the land and to possess the gates of the enemy. Come on, somebody. Because God has given us the victory in Christ. In Christ, it's already done. Glory to God. That's why I say you must abide in him. And let his word what? Abide in you. And he said if you abide in him and his word abide in you. Then the results will show. That you are getting fruitful. And more and more fruitful. 30, 60 and 104. Come on somebody. So keep on increasing in the Lord. Don't back off. Don't slack off. Huh? Don't get weary. Because uh, some people believe that when they get weary, God sorry for them. Uh, it doesn't work like that. And Moses held up the rod 
The Lord told him, as long as he hold the rod, Israel will prevail. And he held up the rod, and even his hand got tied, there was an old man. The Lord never said, I understand in your mind, Moses. You want to hold it up, it's just tired, your hand getting tired. But in your heart, your hand still holding up. No? Word of God says, when Moses' hand start to go down, the enemy start to overtake Israel. Because God keep his word, you know. God just say, God what? Keep his word. And, and, and it was Aaron and her who recognized that when they stood on the mountain with Moses, they looked down and noticed that any time Moses and went down, Israel was being pushed back in war. And they ran up and became like to grace under his hand to keep his hand from weighing down and roll a stone behind him that he could sit come on now yeah, some person don't know that when the lord give a command he's not going to bend a command to suit your flesh you know you can't that's why i say if you're kind you're not going to please him and if you don't please him you won't get the result that is safe for those who please him so you say you cannot be mindful of the flesh when you want to truly serve God. Because I said the flesh can tell you, no, I have had enough. <laughs> and you got to know to tell the flesh, say no, it's not you calling the shots. You get it? Eh? And tell the flesh must be subjected to the spirit. Huh? Because those who are mindful of the spirit, he says, that produces life and peace. Come on now. Because you're to be in sync with God's plans and purposes. When you are mindful of the spirit, you are mindful of God. But when you are mindful of the flesh, you're only mindful of your humanity and humans around you and things around you and things of the world. And you lose sight and hearing of God. Because you only can focus on one thing at a time. You only can what? Definitely. You only can focus on one thing at a time. So it says, it's either you are mindful of the spirit or you are mindful of the flesh. But you cannot be both. Many trying to do it and I tell them all the while, but they always fail. As God never tell you to be mindful of the flesh. He said, if you are mindful of him, he will take care of your flesh. You get the thing? But when you're mindful of the flesh, you lose sight of him and lose your hearing to him because other thoughts flood your mind that block your mind from hearing what he's saying. Get it? Ah, right. So that's why it says, you cannot be carnally minded and please God. It is impossible. Hello. Hallelujah. So Paul said it this way. If you are in the spirit, walk in the spirit. If you are in the spirit, what? Yes. And how are you in the spirit? He says you are in the spirit if the spirit of God dwells in you. Romans 8 verse 9 says you are not in the flesh. But in the spirit, if, that's the condition, if the spirit of God dwells in you. He's not visit you, he's not come upon you sometime and then the time he's gone. Every time he said, come Lord Jesus, come, come again. No, he said, if he dwells in you, that means he lives in you. And you don't have to tell him to come. <laughs> Praise God, because he's already there. Praise God. So he says he wants to make his dwelling in you. So he said if his spirit dwells in you, then you are not in the flesh but in the spirit. And he said then if this, anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he's none of his. God so says anyway, the flesh is going to die. So if you're living for the flesh, you're going to perish with the flesh. But he says if you are living for the spirit, which is God. Then he says, what he in turn released to you is eternal life and puts you in a position that he says is in right standing with him. What he says, because of righteousness. If Christ is in you, what? 
The body is dead because of sin. But the spirit is what? Life because of what? Righteousness. See there? See what I'm saying? They say you, you're not going to have that life if you are not mindful of the spirit. Those who are very mindful of their flesh lose, lose that connection with God and they struggle to bridge it back every time they come in the church and every time they come around spiritual people because they don't have that continual connection. They, they're plugging in and plugging out. And those cannot experience the fullness. Why? Because they are, they are still being mindful of the flesh. Hello, somebody. But when you are mindful of the spirit, God releases power to you over the flesh. That's the reason why Jesus was saying to the disciples, don't be thinking about what you're going to eat, what you're going to drink, and what you're going to put on. All those things have to do with the flesh, you know. So why would he tell him that and he need it? Because he knows if they're thinking on that, their mind is not on the ministry now on him, you know. And pretty soon he can't talk to them because they have to go look at those things. <laughs> so that's why he just said it to Matthew 6. You're not to worry about life. What you're going to eat, what you're going to drink. Because he said, if you're worrying about that, life is talking about this in the flesh, you know. Because he said, if you worry about those things, what's going to happen? You're going to lose sight of the kingdom. You're going to what? Lose sight of the kingdom. So he told them, the father know you have need of those things. Did he say so? Verse 32. The father knows. So he's not telling you, say, when you focus on the spirit, you're going to be so heavenly and spiritual minded. You don't need nothing physical or nothing here and there. No, it's not at all. But he said, the father know you have need of those things. So if the father know you have need of those things. Why are you worrying about it? He said, it's the father's responsibility to care for your need. You don't get it? It's the father's responsibility to what? Any child within the father's house one day when you going to eat, when you going to sleep, when you going to put on, is an insult to the father. I say, you're under his care. You got it? You're under his care. So I say, that's not for you to worry about. No, people not supposed to have to worry about how light will go up here. Because they are under the covering of their parents. So when children start to take up that on the head, they cannot respond as children anymore. That's so why it says, you become dead. You become cut off from that life in the spirit. Come on. So it says, you must be focused on what the Lord wants to use you to do. The kingdom. You must be focused on what the Lord wants you to do. And your relationship with the Lord becoming stronger. And he says, I will take care of the things. That's what I say. I will take care of it. I know you have no other these things. So you say, don't worry about those things. Why? Because I say, you're worrying about it not helping. You're, you're worrying not going to add one cubit to your statue. So I say, why are you bother worrying? He said, birds not worrying. Grass not worrying. Lily in the valley not worrying. None of them don't tile, spin. None of them don't care for themselves. So God say, I care for them. So say, then won't he care for you? And he said, you are more valuable than they. Woo! Come on. So, so instead of worrying, about how the bills will be. Use that energy to dig deeper in the presence of the Lord to find out what the Lord wants you to do and do it. And you see, if you do it, you'll surprise what He do to take care of your need. Hello. Has he ever failed? 
and then it never will come on somebody you believe that hallelujah I believe that so I'm diligent to do what the Lord told me to do and seeking more what he wants me to do so you should never be in a place where you don't know what God wants you to do and you're just there doing your thing whether you're at home at work or at play you still must be thinking what the Lord want me to do here so that's how you become mindful of him you got it and he will tell you what to say he will tell you what to do and he give you instructions that will cause what you are doing to come off a different way and gain a different momentum and different results huh and when God is involved, you know, the possibilities are endless. But when it is you, the possibilities are limited. Huh? But with God, whew, there it is. Praise God. So you seek to get the Lord involved in everything you're doing. Don't move an inch, don't say a word without your thinking on him. That he will direct what you say and what you do. Otherwise, you're going to play right into the devil's hand. You got it? Hallelujah. So, so he said, if you are in the spirit, walk in the spirit. And you will what? You will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. In other words, the flesh will not put you in a place of disadvantage with the enemy. That the enemy can, you, you play right into the devil's hand. And then ask the Lord, how oh, come I reach you? So he said, Lord, I want you to do that. I want you to do what he plans. That's why he says, seek first the kingdom, his rulership in your life, and his righteousness, what he requires, are deems right for you. Then all these things shall be added unto you. He's the one doing the adding. Got it. Hallelujah. He's the one what? Right, you trust him to do it, then he will. Praise God. Come on, lift those hands in the house. Father, we thank you. Say, Father, we thank you that you have deemed us and declared us your children. You are our heavenly Father, and you care for every need here and in the age to come. You have got all things planned for us. And you said, all things work together for the good of those who love you. Those who are the called according to your purpose. And right now, we surrender everything to you and claim the victory in Jesus' name right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus we command every fear doubt unbelief procrastination wavering every spirit of unbelief we command you to go in the name of jesus let faith arise in our hearts and be pleased with our praise in Jesus name father we thank you for what you're doing for us and for what you're about to do as we walk by faith and not by sight we believe it's done and give you the glory in Jesus name amen 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 come on give him the praise hallelujah and it is done in jesus name receive it he says when you pray you must receive those things and then what he said will happen and you shall have them how do you receive it and you don't have it say because you believe that the word is true and it's already done and it says, mixing the word with faith will produce fruitful results. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. Time to release you now. Praise God. Give you a chance to sow as the Lord has laid upon your hearts. And while you're doing so, I'll give the final word to those who are watching online. Those who are watching online are watching Increase in Faith Deliverance Ministry International. We're at 3 East Street, Montego Bay. I'm Apostle Richard Fagan declaring the gospel of Christ and this came in and wanted to know the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Believe me, God has great plans and purposes for you, but it will not come to pass for you unless you obey, obediently follow him and humble yourself before him. Come on. Because everything the enemy is trying to do is to make you complicate what God plans for you by doing things that is contrary to what he desires for you to do. You are missing out on the plan he has for you. And that's the word of the kingdom is that we are, he's calling everyone to come in order with his word and with his Holy Spirit. And then that's how he is birthing sons unto the kingdom to his word and his Holy Spirit. That's the birthing channel of God. And God is expanding his family. And he wants you in it. Despite the past that you have and the history of how things have gone in your life, God is able to turn it around to his word and to his Holy Spirit. But you must submit and become obedient to the word and submissive to the Holy Spirit. Praise God. And it leads you to that life that is called eternal life. Amen. Pray the God kind of life. Amen. Praise God. So we have a book release out there. It's on Amazon.com. Released it last year. It's called The Gospel of the Kingdom. Subtitled The Gospel that Jesus Preached. You wanted to surely get a copy for yourself to put in your library to enhance and build your faith and relationship with the Lord to another level. You believe there's more things God is unveiling, excavating out of the word of the kingdom as he called it, the mysteries of the kingdom. And he says, even wise and prudent before did not long to hear such things, did not hear it. So it's, there's still more God is uncovering to us today. He's not having us twiddling our thumbs and waiting on him to just make a surprise appearance. But he's really preparing the church. Hallelujah, that end of the church for that last year, that last time here. And he said he's coming back for a glorious church. Without spot or wrinkle. Come on. So we need to get deeper in the word to gain that result that God is after through the word and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. So you can, of course, order through Amazon.com. Go in the search box, type in Richard B. Fagan, and you see the book come up. You can order it anywhere around the world through Amazon.com. Or you can download it through Kindle on your device to have it as an easy read at your convenience. But we believe it will push your faith. To a new level. We also have more teachings in the house. You can just send a friend's request to Richard B. Fagan on Facebook and we plugged into our five live stream services that we stream on Facebook every week. And also we edit it and put more scripture to it on our YouTube channel. Look, subscribe to Apostle Richard Fagan and you'll see we had more scripture added there to the teachings to enhance your faith and your boldness in declaring the word of the kingdom. But he said, when one knows the word of the kingdom and understands it, he bears fruit, he produces fruit in the life, secures their position and their possession. And that's a great thing here in the kingdom. Hallelujah. And we declare to you that you need to move forward in faith to gain that. And faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. Praise God. So we encourage you to get in the word. You can also check out the ministry by checking out our website. It's increasingfaithintl.org. That's our church's website. Increasingfaithintl.org. And those who want to sow to the ministry, be blessed by the ministry, can sow to the website. Or you can also write your prayer requests or your praise report or this ministry. Be blessing you. We rejoice to hear from you and to build your most holy faith in the Lord. We also have a love gift for those who have been connected with us that want daily studies or daily devotional teachings. We have something we call our daily devotional, day-to-day -day teachings from the 1st of January until the 31st of December of, of this year, 2023. And it's already ready. December is already complete and ready. You can get it from the beginning, from the 1st of 
of January for the month of January and each month's following have day-to-day -day teachings for the months that you can go through and study with your family or with your loved ones to build your faith daily in the Lord. That's all Jesus did with his disciples. He taught them daily, not once a week, not once a month, daily because he's making disciples of them and they can't be spending more time with the world than they're spending with those who are discipling them. That will make them not be loyal disciples. And so that's why they are called to be trained to be disciples. Amen. And he told him also to make disciples of others. Amen. Praise God. So I want to encourage you to get in the word and to build your most holy faith in the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Also, those who want to request the daily devotional can call me by the number on the screen. It's 876-839-9390. 876 557 Two four two seven and also eight seven six uh five two five six seven five seven. Praise God. So we have numbers there that you can call and order, and we'll of course send it to you by WhatsApp to build up your most holy faith. Dear the Lord. Bless you. Be strong in the Lord in the power of his might. You blessed tonight. Praise God. Good to have you all here and stay focused and tuned in. Eh? Praise God. Focus and tune in in the Lord. And don't allow the, the festivity of the world, of how the world celebrate Christmas and how they celebrate the holiday to have you misdirected from what is the true purpose of the season. Amen. The true purpose of the season is to celebrate God's great gift of his son, Jesus Christ, to us, to save us from sin and to give us new life within as true children of God, ears of God and joint ears with Christ. What do you say? And to spend eternal life with him. So don't be blinded by the noise of the market. But stay focused on what you are truly called to do. Amen. Hallelujah. And I encourage you not to be pitching up and down the place like pitchery. Hallelujah. But to stay focused on and stay, <laughs> stay grounded. Because the devil, you see what you don't know is that many people of the world can run up and down in the season and not much up with them, but children of God can operate like that. And you'll find that Jesus spoke about that. Even when the, the Israel has a season where they have their festival, they, they, they have their holy festival feast and festival they have. But Jesus said to his brothers, you can go, but I cannot go. But why? He said, because the world loves you, but the world doesn't love me. Because I speak of the evil of the world. So, so if Jesus, the Son of God, who is God in human flesh, after saying, can get up and run up and with everybody, what should you say? Who is following him? You know, so, you, so be careful of those splurge and, and flash water on the place, and maybe you say, they become a casualty. You understand? Know, because the world loves its own, but the world don't love us. Yeah, yeah the world don't love us. If they love the Lord, they will love us. But they don't love us, Lord, and they don't love us. So we got to stay focused, that's all. Careful in your movements going out and coming in. Careful or you're, or you're around your house. Careful or you have the window and the door, them open up. All kind of time, like say, everything is holiday. Be careful with your movements. Be vigilant and sober, that's all. For your adversary, the devil is going about. Yeah, don't you worry, that's all. Right, so, so don't be careless. Huh? Praise God. But be careful how you operate. That will show that you are guided and directed by the Holy Spirit so you don't walk into the devil's traps. Huh? Praise God. Bless you. Well, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. God bless you. I love you in Jesus' name. Amen.